less than 5% of the people that worked on the program ever knew the CIA was involved. They had no idea who they were working for. We called them the customer. My first flight up there was, I knew that basically a lot of flying was going on up there. But my first impression was seeing the Soviet MiGs sitting on the tarmac as we were landing. And that was very exciting. You had to build a plane, particularly with the arse cart, that could fly at 90,000 feet, 2,200 miles an hour. So the challenges was just unreal. The plane streaking at 90,000 feet, which is twice or better than any conventional plane. And at that speed, it was a UFO sighting. We flew 2,850 missions, sorties out of Groom Lake that no one ever knew about. And obviously there were sightings. And they would investigate it and they'd run up against that security wall. They start getting too close. They'd be called in and says, this is top secret mission. Put a lid on it, make up a story and go away. And that's what they'd do, they'd make up a story. Now, I believe in secrecy, don't get me wrong. There comes a time when it becomes, should go into the history books.